Welcome to Exquisite Universe, your gateway to exploring the world of immigration policies. In today's video, we delve into the fascinating realm of Canadian immigration policies and how they shape the diverse landscape of this beautiful country. So, without further ado, let's embark on this enlightening journey together. Canada has a long history of embracing immigrants, and the country's immigration policy is meant to attract qualified employees, entrepreneurs, and family members who can contribute to the country's economy and society. Canada has a long history of welcoming immigrants. The following are the four primary types of immigrants who come to Canada. In the context of economic immigration, programs for skilled workers, entrepreneurs, and investors are included in this category. The applicants who fall into this group have their language abilities, work experience, education, and education all taken into consideration throughout the evaluation process. Work experience in Canada totaling at least one year in a skilled occupation, or an offer of employment from a Canadian employer, is required of applicants in this category. Skilled employees. In addition to that, specific requirements for linguistic competence must be met. Candidates are expected to have a level of linguistic competence that is at least equivalent to that required for the position for which they are applying. The Canadian Language Benchmark CLB, scale served as the basis for the establishment of these prerequisites. For instance, a candidate for a position in the healthcare industry needs to have a minimum CLB level of 7 in both reading and writing. This requirement applies to both reading and writing. Education is required, and applicants need to have a diploma from high school or its equivalent. They might also be required to hold a degree or diploma from an institution of higher education, although that depends on the job for which they are seeking. Work experience is required, and applicants must either have a job offer from a Canadian company or have worked in Canada for at least one year in a skilled occupation. Work experience that is considered to be skilled is work that calls for a certain degree of education, training, or skills to be performed. Job Offer Applicants who already have a job offer from a Canadian employer may be exempt from the requirement that they have one year of prior work experience. The offer of employment must be for a position that is full-time and permanent, and it must be tailored to satisfy the requirements of the Canadian labour market. Other prerequisites include additional conditions, such as possessing a valid passport, passing a medical exam, and obtaining a clear record from the police, may be imposed on applicants. Sponsorship from a family. Spouse, partner, children, parents, and grandparents. Canadian citizens and permanent residents have the ability to sponsor the immigration of their spouse, partner, children, and parents or grandparents. Applicants who fall under this category are required to fulfill a number of prerequisites, including having a lawful relationship with the sponsor and having the ability to enter Canada. Admissibility. Applicants have to meet the requirements to enter Canada legally. This indicates that they must not have any criminal convictions, health difficulties, or other circumstances that would render them ineligible to immigrate to Canada. Additionally, they must not have any other factors that would make them ineligible to immigrate. Applicants are required to have a legitimate relationship with the sponsor in order to be considered. This indicates that the sponsor must be married to them, that they must be common law partners, or that they must be the sponsor's dependent children. Other requirements. Applicants might be expected to fulfill other requirements, such as possessing a valid passport, passing a medical exam, and obtaining a clearance from the police. Persons deserving special protection and refugees. Refugees. People who have been compelled to flee their nation of origin due to conflict, persecution, or other dire circumstances are considered to be refugees. They have the ability to submit an asylum claim in Canada. People who have just arrived in Canada in the hope of being granted asylum are referred to as asylum seekers. They have one year from the date of their arrival in Canada to submit an asylum application. Admissibility. Applicants have to meet the requirements to enter Canada legally. This indicates that they must not have any criminal convictions, health difficulties, or other circumstances that would render them ineligible to immigrate to Canada. Additionally, they must not have any other factors that would make them ineligible to immigrate. Other Requirements Applicants might be expected to fulfill other requirements, such as possessing a valid passport, passing a medical exam, and obtaining a clearance from the police. 
in addition to humanitarian considerations. Victims of human trafficking are eligible to apply for permanent residence in Canada if they were the victims of human trafficking. They are required to fulfill specific standards, such as having been illegally brought into Canada and having the legal right to enter Canada. Other reasons. In addition to the humanitarian and other reasons category requirements, there is also a separate category for other reasons that can make a person eligible for immigration to Canada. Being a victim of torture, being a person without a state, or having been persecuted for one's religious views are some of the reasons that someone could seek asylum. Admissibility. Applicants have to meet the requirements to enter Canada legally. This indicates that they must not have any criminal convictions, health difficulties, or other circumstances that would render them ineligible to immigrate to Canada. Additionally, they must not have any other factors that would make them ineligible to immigrate. Other prerequisites include additional conditions, such as possessing a valid passport, passing a medical exam, and obtaining a clear record from the police, may be imposed on applicants. The express entry procedure is by far the most common and popular means of entering Canada as a permanent resident. The express entry program is a point-based system that ranks applicants according to their abilities, education level, years of work experience, and level of language ability. Applicants who scored the highest are extended an invitation to submit a residency application for permanent status. Other well-liked immigration initiatives include the Atlantic Immigration Pilot, the Quebec Skilled Worker Program, and the Provincial Nominee Initiatives PNPs. The Provincial Nominee Programs PNPs, give the provinces and territories the opportunity to put forward talented workers that they consider would be a good addition to their respective labor markets. Through the use of a point-based system, the Quebec Skilled Worker Program is able to identify skilled employees who are interested in immigrating to the province of Quebec. The Atlantic Immigration Pilot is a program that was designed with the purpose of luring qualified individuals to reside in the Atlantic provinces of Canada. You can visit the website of Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship Canada IRCC, in order to obtain additional information regarding the immigration policies of Canada. There is a variety of information regarding immigration programs, eligibility requirements, and the application procedure that may be found on the website of the IRCC. The following is a list of supplementary resources that you might find to be useful. Canada's Immigration System https colon slash slash www.canada.ca slash n slash immigration dash refugees dash citizenship slash campaigns slash immigration dash matters slash system dot html immigration matters Canada's Immigration System What are the steps involved in the immigration procedure to Canada? https colon slash slash www.cfr.org slash backgrounder slash what dash canada's dash immigration dash policy immigrate to canada https colon slash slash www.canada.ca slash n slash services slash immigration dash citizenship dot html and that concludes our immersive exploration of canadian immigration policies here on exquisite universe if you found this video informative and engaging, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends who might benefit from this knowledge, and leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay updated with our future videos. Until next time, keep exploring the exquisite universe of knowledge.